Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dale, and the new Noble Garden holiday event just went live in Dragonflight, but this time with some additional content and plenty of new rewards for you to obtain for the 2024 update. This includes the addition of a new world boss that is now active in both Durator and Elven Forest, which has a very low chance to drop a newly added holiday mount. This year's update also features additional cosmetic rewards, such as new mugs and new pet, but also a second chance to obtain all of the previously available items from the holiday's vendor. Noble Garden is a limited time event which will be available on Live Realms for about a week. So in today's video, I wanted to do a holiday overview, but also go over how you can maximize your ability to obtain all of the newest rewards before they are gone until the very next year. So let's jump right into it. But right before that, most of you guys watching these kind of update and guide videos are still not subscribed. However, the more of you remind, the more of you do. So let's keep it going. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell if you're watching these videos anyway. Especially if you want to get more regular content regarding Dragonflight 1026 or any future updates for patches like 1027 or the War Within Alpha. So when you first log in for Noble Garden, you'll have a new questline which starts out either in Stormwind, Orgrimmar or in Veldraken. And you'll want to complete this questline to find out why Razor Hill as well as Elven Forest are now all of a sudden overran by ducks. You will also get introduced to a new druid world boss that now spawns in a handful of locations and the questline also awards you a new toy for the duck disguise. When you first complete this questline it'll ask you which duck disguise do you want and right now it is assumed that you'll probably unlock additional disguises as you did daily quests with the noble garden event. One of the newer events for noble garden will be a brand new world boss that is now active in both Durator as well as elven forest depending on your faction. To find the boss's location, you simply need to open up your map once you're in the right zone and you'll see a new star icon on your map which will show where the boss is going to spawn. The boss drops a variety of brand new rewards added for the Noble Garden event, which includes a brand new Trazimog sets that are themed to this event, but also a very 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 small chance at a new mount added for the event. For now it does seem that the mount currently has about a 1% drop rate but it is possible that they could potentially buff it or give this mount like a first time bonus similar like what they've done for the hollows and mount as well as the love is on the air mount especially because this event is so limited timed. To defeat the boss you will not need to find a group in LOG, simply go to the boss's location and once it spawns you should be able to take it down fairly easily no matter how many numbers you got since the boss is relatively easy. However, to summon the new world boss, you will first need to find a golden egg and then drag it to the boss's nest. To do so, we'll be using a target macro for targeting golden egg and only have to do is fly around near the boss spawn location until you find and spot an egg. And once you find the golden egg, you need to interact with it and then you drag it into the nest. You can also use a bonus action ability to pull the egg towards you. Multiple players can interact with the egg and help drag it all at the same time to make that journey a little bit faster. After defeating the boss daily, you'll be able to earn an item that you can then turn in near the Noble Garden vendors to get a small chance at a mount as well as a variety of other rewards that are available with this holiday update. However, to be eligible for a chance at a mount, you have to defeat the boss on a character that's at least level 60 or above. Each character will have a daily lockout when it comes to obtaining rewards from the boss. So you may want to leave a couple of vaults resting in Goldshire Inn or Razor Hill. Besides the new world boss, the vendors for Noble Garden do have additional items that you can now purchase. Specifically, we have a new lovely duckling pet which is going to cost you 250 chocolate currency at the new vendors. Besides this, we also have the sword and newer for the Dragonflight expansion, Drake's Big Basket of Eggs, which equips your dragon riding mounts with the basket while flying around. Some of the other items available on this vendor will be the Noble Garden Hearthstone toy, which is going to cost you 250 currency. The mount is going to cost you 500, the bunny pet for 200, the spring bouquet pet for 100, but you also have a variety of different cosmetic clothing and bunny ears and transmogs that you can actually keep outside of this event and utilize outside of the event, which will run you anywhere between 25 to 50 each. Overall, this means you're looking at around 2000 give or take chocolate currency in order to be able to obtain every unique item on this vendor. And the only way to farm the currency for this event is to hunt down eggs that are scattered all around some of the major inns of World of Warcraft. 
Every time you find one of these eggs and open it, you'll be able to get chocolate currency. And the egg to currency conversion right now is 1 to 1. If you're looking to farm out this holiday, some of the best locations that I've found out so far, for Alliance at least, will be the Elven Forest Goldshire Inn. Mostly because of the space around the inn, as if you just run circles around the actual building, you'll be able to find a lot of eggs along the way. Most of them are going to be put in between different corners found on the building or maybe in the baskets or in the garden or maybe on top of the one of the window stills. But for the most part, if you just do your rounds around the building, you should be able to collect a lot of eggs fairly easily. For the Horde site, I found that the Falcon Wing Square in Silvermoon is actually one of the better spots to farm out all of your chocolate currency because Falcon Wing Square has the fountain, it has the blacksmith area, you also get the fence that kind of surrounds the entire zone and every single one of those places has quite a bit of eggs that you can just kind of work towards as you make your rounds in circles all around the zone. That is, if you do end up running around circles, doing your rounds, collecting as many eggs as possible. Another strategy, of course, would also be just to stand still and just farm out eggs as they appear in front of you. Honestly, either strategy works out just fine, but I found out that running around collecting the eggs manually is just a little bit faster if you're just trying to get through all of the rewards as quickly as possible. Another tip to make your egg gathering a little bit quicker and easier, you can always enable the interact key. Go into options, go to search, and search for interact in the search menu at the top right of your screen and then bind an interact key. Binding an interact key allows you to interact with an item directly in front of you. This works with NPCs as well as items such as the mailbox, but also all of the eggs for this event. With everybody crowding these eggs, sometimes you'll end up clicking on the player instead of the egg. And while multiple players can interact with an egg at once, if you miss it out just by a little before despawns, you actually don't get any of the chocolate currency out of it. So using the interact key just allows you to skip that process of having to manually target the egg, making it a little bit easier for you to gather all of your chocolate currency. Also, the last little tip is to just open your eggs from time to time, since these are items that will actually fill up your physical space within your inventory. Some of the vendor rewards also can show up inside of every one of these eggs, though it's a very, very, very low drop chance, but it's not impossible for you to even be able to earn the Noble Garden mount, or at least one of the mounts, from simply opening one of these eggs. Make sure to utilize this macro in order to make your egg opening also go by just a little bit quicker. But for now, that's going to be everything we got so far regarding this newest Dragonflight 2024 update for the Noble Garden event, which is a limited time event that's only going to be available for about a week. So I want to wish all of you the best of luck in trying to get the mount, and hopefully Blizzard does end up buffing the drop chance for the mount just a little, since it is such a limited event. But otherwise, I want to thank all of you so much for watching this video, and I hope all of you guys enjoyed. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. As per usual, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. And as always, in the description of every single video and live stream, we have a link to our Discord community channel. Probably the best place to reach out to me directly in case you want to let me know what you thought about this video or hang out with the rest of the community to discuss some of the upcoming changes. Join our Discord to become part of the community. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in another video.